This is just a, a quick video update on uh, this little oscilloscope that I picked up at my dad's place the other day. Um, it's got bad written on the uh, front of the uh, face here. Uh, focus. Okay. Yeah. It was one of them my uh, uncle was trying to fix, I believe. And that's why it's got all these red marks on it. Uh, it could have been one of the friends and families as well. Because uh, he was into electronics. Anyhow. I got it. I thought it was too cute to throw away, so I decided to go ahead and try to fix this thing. And uh, what I found when I opened it was the power supply worked, the tube worked. I was able to test the tube by uh, uh, taking the uh, blanking circuit here. And this is just a uh, 4001 CMOS quad uh, NOR gate. Come on, bring work. And uh, to get the uh, tube to uh, light up at all light up without any other circuit in there. All I had to do was short uh, pin 3 and pin 16 and that uh, makes the uh, trace uh, show up. So uh, that's part of the blanking circuit. And uh, you have this chip here which is a uh, analog switch, quad analog switch. And uh, that's what resets the trace at the end of every sweep. And, uh, Every single one of these chips was missing, and someone had soldered sockets in there at some point. So I, I'm guessing somebody uh, hooked too much voltage up to it at one point and blew it up. So they just uh, removed all the chips and soldered sockets in the place and tried to fix it, but they couldn't. They couldn't find the parts. Anyhow, there's this transistor that looks like it's floating and it's got some extra long leads soldered in place. Uh, that was in there before, but only had one lead hooked up, so I hooked up the other two where it looked like it was supposed to hook up to, and uh, that didn't work because it's it's completely the wrong transistor. But uh, the reason I went ahead and hooked it up anyways was because in the uh, schematic here, let's see, focus, that transistor right in the middle there, that's it, that's a PNP transistor. And the part number on it looks like a 2N3565. And that's an NPN transistor part number, but the symbol is a PNP transistor. And this is completely puzzling because it didn't make any sense. But uh, with that transistor hooked up, it was uh, causing this line here to go directly to the 6 volt line. It was just shorting straight through because it's an NPN transistor instead of a PNP transistor. So after looking at that number very closely, I found that the uh, a lot of the numbers in this page, a lot of the nines look just like fives. So looked at the part number for a 2N3965. Turns out that was actually a PNP transistor. So that part number there is actually a 2N3965 instead of a 3565. And uh, so to test that, I hooked the transistor back up like it was and I just cut the base so there's no more 6 volt line so it's just X like a diode through there and uh, I started getting a trace to sweep across so then I had to figure out my blanking circuit to test it make sure it was working right so put that chip back on which is actually this area right here this is the blanking circuit and uh, that's U2 that's the uh, uh, NOR gates uh, put that chip back in and adjusted this potentiometer right here using a screwdriver since there is high voltage in this and uh, I started to get it blanking properly so yeah I got a I got a little scope here that should work out all I gotta do is uh, find the right replacement transistor since this is actually a constant current circuit from the looks of it and uh, after that I should be able to calibrate this thing just fine so just a little quick demonstration I'll turn it on. I've got it hooked up to a seven and a half volt power supply. It just takes a six volt battery. There's my. Uh... Oh come on! No, I don't have to. Well now it's it's not wanting to work, huh? Oh there it goes. It's it was acting kind of strange. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching.